Hey, bro, come on. The video rolling. The video rolling. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. But you're watching basketball facts that you probably didn't know. Basketball is one of the most loved sports on the planet right now. You can dunk, dribble, shoot threes. Well, you haven't always been able to do that. So let's get into the facts that you didn't know right now. Fact number one, basketball was created by a guy named James Naismith. It all came about because his boss at the YMCA was like, hey James, come up with a sport that everyone can play in the winter. Okay, sir. And that's how they came up with basketball. Well, you know more than that happened. I'm just giving y'all what I think the convo went like. And all of this was invented at the YMCA. Fact number two. Here's another fact I bet you didn't know. The first basketball wasn't actually a basketball. It was actually a soccer ball. Who would have known? This is made for this. Not this. Oh, net. But I guess you gotta use whatever you have. Fact number three. And then you couldn't even dribble the basketball. Well, it wasn't even a basketball, it was a soccer ball. So you're telling me you couldn't dribble a soccer ball? You had to pass it? Just imagine not being able to do this. This was how the rules went for no dribbling. Here, Tommy. What am I supposed to do with it? Shoot it! Okay. You knew I can't shoot. Yeah, I know, but you were the only one to go. So basically, wherever they caught it at, they had to pass it. No dribbling, no nothing. Pass, 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 shoot. Hopefully they make it. But also, the first team credited it, credited it, credited it, however you say it, with advancing the ball by dribbling was a team in Yale in 1897. And the official allowance for a dribble was only once per possession. Well, at first, then it got adopted four years later. Fact number four. So do you know how they only allow five players on the floor now? Yeah, five. Well, the number of players per side was never specified. Ooh, that rhyme. But James Naismith basically invented a game where everyone, well, not everyone, well, he wanted everyone to play. For a while, it was a total of 18. So nine per side. Wait, what? Nine per side? That's way too many. Five is enough per side. Well, I kind of understand it because that was the total number of people that showed up for the very first game. Fact number five. So you know how now you get fouled and you go straight to the free throw line? Good gracious, man. Man, you a wimp. But I get free throws. Well then, if you didn't get hurt, it wasn't a foul. Good God, you fouling. Does that mean I get free throws? Yeah, maybe if I break your leg. So basically what he said, you gotta have a broken leg or something broken or just be injured, period, for them to call a foul. Man, basketball was something else back then. But even though I said that, shouldering, holding, pushing, tripping, or otherwise striking an opponent was never allowed. So even though you had to be injured for it to be called a foul, they wouldn't allow you to hit. So how does that make any sense? But listen to this. However, such offenses like that were never considered fouls until 1910. Then they made the rule committing four fouls, you're out the game. Give me that, foul, what? Give me that, foul, what? Give me that, foul, what? Give me that, give me that, get them out of here, what? Then the total was finally raised to five in 1946. Then to six the next year. Fact number six. Back then, referees used watches. That's because the duties back then for refs was timekeeping. Then again, there wasn't that much time to keep. The 24 second shot clock wasn't made until 1954. Since people wanted to hold the ball so long to combat stalling tactics, NBA teams began to employ. Turnover. What? I only had it for like two seconds. It's been 24 seconds, other team ball. Come on, man. Fact number seven. The game's life was short. Well, not technically like that, but Naismith proposed two 15 minute halves with five minutes to rest in between. Fact number eight. There didn't used to be a backboard. It used to only be just a basket. Hence why they call it basketball. They made the backboard because when a person shoots the ball and they miss the goal or the basket back then, it just went straight to the crowd. The fans love to just play with the basketball or well, the soccer ball at the time. Ooh, this is cool. 
Fact number nine. Women's basketball was introduced the same time as men's was, even though the rules were altered to fit women. You can't dunk. Yes, I can. No, I'm saying you can't dunk because you're a woman. Feminist. Psych, nah, I'm just playing. Women or men couldn't dunk at that time. Just imagine not being able to do this. Fact number 10. Back then, there was no out of bounds. As soon as the ball went out of bounds, the referee tossed it right back in so that the play keep going. And the first team that got the ball got possession. Appreciate you. So that means play never stopped. Only time it stopped is when the game was over. One thing I can tell you is, I know they were tired back then. A young book. Yeah, back in the 1700s, I never got tired. Hey, never mind, I guess I was wrong. That's when in 1913, they changed the rule. Last team to touch the ball lost possession, so that means the other team got the ball, which is how we play now. Other team ball. Fact number 11, and for the very last but not least, the three-pointer was introduced just recently when the NBA adjusted their rules. Just imagine it not being a three-point line, only all twos. If you really enjoyed this video on basketball facts that you didn't know, get this video to at least 1 billion likes. It's like, nah, I'm just joking, but seriously though, no really, and I will make a part two. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe, baby.